What's up, YouTube? Feel that 416 shooter here. Doing another model review today. This is uh, the more refined product of the Link Belt 210 LX. It's uh, I turned into a processor a while back, but I wasn't pleased with the mounting system that I built. Uh, so I changed that. Put some new tracks and a new undercarriage on it. Uh, I just didn't like how huge the 2954 undercarriage was on this small machine, so um, it's a lot more like uh, a lot of the link belts leaving the factory nowadays uh, that are just processors with uh, all the force regarding and then a, a shorter undercarriage. Um, they have a, like some term for it, but uh, that's what it looks like. I put EVT on the side. Uh, my buddy uh, owns a logging outfit, and they run they run Link Belt and they run Logmax. So I figured it would fit. It would be fairly fitting. Um, here's the new mount for the Logmax. Uh, but <clears throat> basically. It just hangs down there like it should, you know. It's not some big, huge thing. Everything still works like it should. I put new hydraulic lines on here. But overall, I like it a lot better now. I still need to redo some hydraulic lines on the boom, I guess. And uh, my offside guard broke off the other day. On the way back from town, I was showing it off to some people and fell down off the seat. But uh, it's a Cat 320 undercarriage that I had from the Moulter project. And uh, I got these tracks from a guy named Eric up in Washington. They're really nice. They're not, you know, they're actually they're a very good, very good value for what they cost. And they're not that expensive, so I'd rather buy these than buy the Conrad tracks. I think they're nicer, so. But that's it. It's a little dirty, just like everything else I got. I think, uh, I think it all looks a lot more real on the diorama when it's a little bit dirty. So, but that's what I got going on with this model. Um, safety first on the counterways there. You know, safety everything these days, everywhere you go. It's all your safety, safety, safety. Then you go some places and you don't ever hear anything about it, and then you really don't understand why they don't ever have accidents, you know. It is what it is. So that's that little thing. Uh, that's all I really did to it was put a new undercarriage, new tracks, and then the new mount for the processor there. It's a Logmax 5000. It's off the, uh, some of the cat harvesters came with those Logmaxes on there, and some of them came with the cat dangle head. So that's what's, uh, that's what's going on with that. It's kind of dark in here. People next door mowing the grass and want to do this model review before I went to work so everybody could see it. But, uh, you know, trying to keep the sound out. I don't know, might work, might not work. But uh, that's that thing. And then uh, I figured I'd show you guys uh, the Pete Lube truck here. It's all dirty and stuff now too, you know. This time of year out in the woods, well, not this year, but a lot of years it'll rain all night and it'll be sunny and all day, you know, and you got muddy spots and dusty spots and everything all over the road. And the mud just uh, kind of builds up, you know. So that's what I got going on here. Dirty, nasty lube truck. 
Everything caked on there like it should be. I did take some of my washes and go through the back of this stuff. You know, and every now and then you spill a few, a few drops of stuff here and there, oil and fuel, and everything mixed together just gets everywhere. And then uh, the other side of it. I like the way it looks. I uh, use dull coat as a first first layer, and then on the top where it's not really caked with mud, you can use an old dr uh, paintbrush, a real soft kind of big one, for, and dry brush it. It kind of works it in there into the dull coat. You know the real s small particles, and it, it looks like it's dusty that way. So, but that's what's up with that. Uh, if you guys want to see more pictures of it, uh, Facebook.com, Timberline Thinning Company. It's all there. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what I do. So that's what I've been up to. Thanks for watching.